Hi guys, welcome back to our series. Now, last time we explored where water comes from. This time we're gonna be diving into what happens next, the all important treatment cycle. Now, before water reaches your taps, Thames Water puts it through a process backed by some serious, serious science. Now we're here at the water testing lab today with none other than Layla. She's our process technician. So Layla, what happens? Tell me, tell me the process. So the first part of cleaning comes straight onto the treatment works. Okay. We abstract from the River Thames, mm -hmm. but we are mindful about how much we abstract mm -hmm. because we want to keep the river flowing naturally. Mm, okay. It then goes through a set of screens. These screens help prevent big bits of debris coming onto site and blocking up our pumps. Okay. It also helps with eels. So yeah, yeah the eels were becoming endangered species, mm -hmm. so it helps save our wildlife by yeah. putting the eel screens in place. Oh, okay. And again, with helping uh, debris blocking up the pipework. Yeah. Some of our larger sites has reservoirs. Mm -hmm. These are a sediment stage in the process. Mm -hmm. From the inlet to an outlet of a res, the water sits in there for roughly 60 days. Mm -hmm. The res is constantly turning, yeah. and this helps set out the silt in the bottom mm -hmm. and sand, so we can abstract the cleaner water from the top oh, okay, in the cool. reservoir. So it splits it, basically? Splits it. Oh, okay, cool. So you have the dirty stuff at the bottom? Dirty stuff at the bottom, and then we abstract the cleaner water from the top. So after that, the next stage is actually removing the particles from the water. Okay. A way we do this is called flocculation, but it's basically a solution that we add into the water and it sticks all the smaller particles together to form bigger clumps of particles, uh, but makes it much, much easier for us to remove out of the water before going on to the next stage. Cool. So now, at this point, um, I can drink the water, right? No, definitely not. It has <laughs> okay. to go through a filter stage okay. um, with coarse sand and much, much finer sand, and this is another way of helping catch any large particles and small particles within the media. Very, very temperamental way. You have to really, 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 really watch what's happening and know that there's nothing left in the water. Yeah. So how many processes would you say that there is? Five in total. Five in total, okay. We also can add um, ozone and GAC as mm -hmm. well into the water. Yeah. This helps move particle, remove particles that you wouldn't be able to see with the naked eye. Ah. And it also helps with taste and smell issues in the water as well. So it's quite oh. beneficial, beneficial for us to use. Okay, have, have we gone through the five processes now? Nope, you're on to the final stage. Okay, so... so I still can't drink the water? No, it's still not drinking water. Oh, okay. The final stage, we add chlorine into the water. Oh, okay. We dose around 1.6 milligrams a litre. We yeah. superchlorinate to kill off as much as possible in the water. Okay. And then we dechlorinate with a chemical that brings that chlorine level down. The reason why we use chlorine is because it's safe and mm -hmm. it's long lasting to customers' taps. Okay. It also kills off any bacteria and any remaining organisms in the okay. contact tank. Oh. And then after that, it's the last process where it'll be safe to drink. Okay. Now can I drink some water? You can now. After it's been tested yeah. as well, um, we do have water quality that test a site every day and they get sent off to our lab and we need to reach certain readings. Oh. But we also, as techs, um, sample here every day as well throughout the site. Would you like a fun fact? Oh yeah, 100%. We actually have chief tasters that taste water, get paid to taste water every day, checking for odour. What? Yeah. That's a job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You just get paid to taste water? Paid to taste oh, water. <laughs> actually, I wouldn't do that, because it's a lot of processes. Yeah. Can we test water today? Is there we can, I've got some samples ready for you to sample. Okay, cool. Let's get into it, I'm, I'm ready. Bro. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to get the GAC bottle, and then you're going to pipette it, and then no, that's, a, that's right, and put, pull that one there. You're going to okay. do 200 of A solution and then straighten there. We need to make sure you guys are drinking clean water. <laughs> Crazy process. Should we check on our... Yeah. What was it iron reading? Iron reading, that's correct. No, just... Oh. So always blank your samples first. First, and then, oh, okay. And then you're going to do read. Read. So perfect. It's below 0.208, so that's actually showing it's got hardly, hardly any iron in it. I was going to say, really it's, it's got red, this exclamation mark, I'm thinking, oh. No, 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 so it's a negative that's a good result, thing. it's a good thing. Cool, so thank you very much for taking me through the process. It's uh, quite welcome. interesting, learned a lot today. I think I might become a process technician. Would yeah. you hire me? I would, definitely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's been good. So next time you're pouring yourself a glass of water, take your time, enjoy it, and remember, it's been through a journey. Finally, I can have a glass of water. Layla's giving me the all clear. Now, next time you pour yourself a glass of water, make sure you take your time and take a sip because it's gone on a journey just to get to you. Cheers.